So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Active Track on your DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now, Active Track is basically a function within your focus tracking feature, which focus tracking includes Active Track, Spotlight, and Point of Interest. Now, in this video, I'm only going to be talking about Active Track. Why you want to use Active Track is because Active Track basically enables you to automatically, you know, follow a subject, whether that's going to be a moving vehicle or even a person or subject. What's really cool about the DJI Mini 3 Pro is that you're able to actually turn on something called subject scanning, which will allow the drone to determine, you know, the speed at which to follow that particular subject by scanning um, using the controller itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the drone. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're going to use Active Track is you're going to want to turn on subject scanning. Now something that I had to note or I didn't remember is that for you to be able to turn on subject scanning you actually have to have your drone in the air. Reason being if the drone is on the ground then um, the sensors on the bottom won't actually work so you won't have the option to turn on subject scanning. So to turn on subject scanning what you're going to do you're going to click on the three dots in the top right under that you're going to go to let's see camera I believe no control and under control you click on subject scanning all right so our subject scanning is now on and then we can just go up in the middle of the air so let's start our checking so we're going to pull our drone back so now that we have our drone in the air the drone actually has the ability to detect different subjects so i'm going to click on myself and the drone can now identify me and you see the different options you see active track spotlight and point of interest now to go to active track you're just going to tap active track on the drone then you're going to see two options trace or parallel so what trace is is trace basically is going to track your subject from either the front the back or above so let's go ahead and do trace and tap go now something important to note is that after you type go it's not recording you actually have to press the record button so now i'm recording and now we can just begin so i don't actually need to have my controller I can just basically, you know, just keep walking and it will be able to, to track me. So this is pretty cool. Like it's, it's following my movements. I'm actually not pressing anything on the controller. Um, and luckily because of obstacle avoidance, even though I have obstacle avoidance turned on, turned off, I should say, it can still um, detect what I'm doing. So I can, you know, run. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> and you know i can stop here i do think it's actually able to see objects so this is pretty cool you know i can walk around and it's seeing what i'm doing i'm not pressing anything on the controller so it's definitely a vibe so this is an easy way to um get some nice shots and let me just go ahead and click stop all right and then click on active check again and the next mode is called parallel so with parallel something important to note is that the drone does not have any sensors on the sides so please be careful to make sure that there's nothing, you know, facing your sides because the drone will not be able to basically avoid obstacles to the side. So you're going to, you're going to take a side angle and then you click active track, parallel, and then go. I was cool. It's still able to see me even when I'm, you know, walking past objects. I'm not doing anything. Controller is, you know, not being pressed. Drone is doing this all on its own. So this is a pretty cool way to get some nice shots in the event that you don't have a second shooter. And that's really cool about the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It is great for you know solo creators, persons that are maybe like content creators who don't have a huge crew or maybe are traveling alone. Easy way to get some nice shots. And what's also pretty cool about this is that it also works in vertical mode as well. So let me just go ahead and stop this right here. All right, so it still works in vertical mode as well. Let me just go ahead and click on parallel and yeah you're still able to get those same shots while in vertical mode like a lot of easy shots can be done a lot of interesting shots you know nothing too difficult for a beginner to do and this is just going to level up your um, drone game tenfold especially if you don't have anyone else i mean if you do have another person you can always just have them do the shot for you but this is for the solo creators, so definitely keep that in mind. If you are struggling to color grade your DJI Mini 3 Pro footage, then I have a free offer in store just for you. All you have to do is go to freelot.danevisuals.com and I have a free D-Cine-like Direct 709 lot. What that is going to do is going to make it easy for you to color grade your footage in one click. 
All you have to do is go to that site, enter your information, and it's all yours for free. It's gonna make color grading super easy for you. If you enjoy this video on how to use Active Track on your DJI Mini 3 Pro, the YouTube algorithm says you're gonna love this video right here.